Oh my god, fucking finally we get to kill something. Jesus Christ. God, let's get to this. Oh my god, how long has it been? God, how long was I in there for? <laughs> what year is it? Anyways, uh, there we go. Assassin Nitto, because we're going to be facing off against Assassarus. Assassarus? Assassarus. Trust me, dog. I know about some Assassarus. Assassarus. All right. Uh, uh, we'll go over here to uh, my event team. All right. Take a look at what I got for options for events. Cool. Uh, okay. And who is also a uh, Skyhawk? There we go. And I have one, one CE. Here we go. Okay. And for this party, I don't have any assassins for this. Cool. All right. Well, we're gonna bring a Berserker of El Dorado and an actual assassin. Yo, where my king at? There he is. Hail to the king, baby. All right, all set. Let's do this. I'm kind of sad it just plays the boring ass opening and not like the 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 fucking the cool, like, metal guitar ripping thing. <sighs> Yay! Well, this is packed. It really is, isn't it, senpai? I wasn't expecting this to be such a huge event. It almost, it's almost like a carnival. A lot of servants turned out to watch this in the spectator stands, too. I saw them on that jumbo-sized screen not too long ago. I wonder if Ishtar paid for that as well. <laughs> this must be very expensive. It's not just the facilities, either. Ishtar has also hired a number of servants to staff the event. That has to be a pretty significant expense, too. It does seem very generous of her. Sheesh. I can't believe she didn't make arrangements for even a single food stand. The race just isn't isn't just for the racers, it's also for all the people who come out to watch. Just look at this food cart I set up. I've got kebabs, hot dogs, fried noodles, snow cones, and a super hot steak griddle I projected specifically for today. It's all so perfect, I almost scare myself. Hey mister, one cotton candy please. Cotton candy! Cotton candy? Right. Well, I guess that is a popular summertime treat, isn't it? I should have realized it sooner. Let's see, a cotton candy machine. I think that should do it. Coming right up, girls. How does extra caramel sound? I'm sorry, but who puts caramel, car caramel, caramel, whatever? Who puts caramel on, uh, fucking, like, cotton candy? Is that, is that a, th is that an actual thing? <laughs> that looks like a cloud. Can you really eat it? Well, of course you can. Though it's actually just melted sugar spun into a cotton-like treat. And you can have as much as you'd like as long as you've got QP to pay for it. There's no such thing as a free lunch after all. Don't you mock me. Of course I have QP. In fact, I shall even pay for those two as well. Now give it to me. All of it! I think I shall take a picture of that too. A fine shot if I do say so myself. The subject is perfect and the composition flawless. It seems the job of record keeper suits me. This is the best. I don't know why, racer, why races are always treated as summer events, but as far as those things go, this one is awesome. Why are you still dressed in your brave outfit? Whatever. After whatever happened during spring break with me not showing up at all until the fall, and countless new girls popping up left and right, 
things were looking pretty dicey for me for a while. But then I got offered this sweet modeling gig. All you have to do is stand around in this bikini. Oh, that's why you're wearing it. This is great. I always wanted to try being a booth babe. Come on, Mr. Cameraman, snap away. I stayed up all night working on this pose. This summer supermodel Liz makes her debut. What a sad picture she paints. But she herself is so happy I cannot bring myself to tell her. I must at least capture the dark side of this event as well. Is my duty as official record keeper. She truly does make for a poor subject. I wonder where I could find Lady Skayhawk. Huh? What's with the pity eyes? I've got a great body, I'll have you know. Look, Senpai, it's the racers. Would you like to say hello to them? Oh, God, please, no. Oh, if it isn't vain, have you come to cheer me on? How very kind of you. But then I suppose it is only inevitable that you would, as inevitable as all roads leading to Rome. After all, were it not for you... What are you prattling on about? Have the roses finally gotten to your head as well? Vaini Zanagi is here to cheer me on, after all. No, as a summer maid, I suppose I should not say anything that might lead another to be jealous. How unusual to know the victor before the contest even begins. It does not make for a decided lack of excitement. Or it does make for a decided lack of excitement, but it is certainly not a bad feeling. I don't know why you're both acting so strangely, but I guess it would be stranger if you weren't. Still, there's one other thing I don't understand. Why are you both in swimsuits? You mean you did, did not know? The rulebook mandates that all drivers wear swimsuits. Indeed it does. I believe Senpai is wondering why you are both wearing swimsuits. Oh that? Simple. Because we are both driving. And as an assistant is required to be on the team, we are both assisting as well. Thus we are both driver and assistant. It was not against the rules to hold uh, concurrent roles you see. Indeed, there is nothing underhanded about it. Of course, while it should be right, it, while I should, while I should, okay, by rights, be the only driver this wicked dark maid here refused to give up the wheel. Never mind that I am an expert charioteer who won the race in Olympia. Why, I'm practically a rider. That nonsense again. Even after changing into a swimsuit and altering your spirit origin, you still ended up as a caster. I, on the other hand, actually am a rider now, one with an exceptional riding skill, no less. There is no question that my only appropriate driver is me, but Drama Queen here would not permit it. We were unable to reach an agreement even after discussing the matter all night, and with no time left before the race was set to begin, we reluctantly agreed to share the role of driver. Okay. You even need to ask? I would think you of all people would understand. Because the driver gets the glory. Guess that makes sense. Oh my god, it's precious! I need it! Uh, Master, thank you. Wait, what? <laughs> there may no longer be a need for me to interp- to in Interpret for her, but just in case she is saying she is happy you came to cheer for her. That's right. I just remembered that you're able to talk a little bit more as a saber, Fran. And with Babbage as your assistant, communication should be simple. Uh, we'll be fine. Of course. I can't have the daughter of an old friend taking part in a dangerous race on her own. Indeed, there is nothing to worry about. In addition to the great bulk of the King of Steam, I have joined the team to assure our victory, as such young friend can race in safety knowing two capable grown-ups are looking after her. Uh, oh, right. I forgot you were here too, Professor. <laughs> I assure you there is nothing to fear. Right now I am nothing more than a 50-ish adoptive father whose heart has been stolen by the innocent plea of a pure-hearted young girl. If you still have concerns, I invite you to change my entry to Mysterious Papa. 
down a shady looking old man. <laughs> yeah. Please don't. A friend and Babbage partnering up makes a lot of sense. But somehow I feel like their choice of additional members adds a lot of shadiness to their team. I can handle a little shadiness. Indeed. Our team may have been assembled rather hastily, but his knowledge, notoriety, and shadiness are genuine. I have every confidence that we will win. Furthermore, he has agreed to assume nearly all responsibility if something occurs during the race. And since anything bad that may happen would almost certainly fall on his shoulders anyway, we feel everything should be fine. Uh... Oh, Master, I see you have come to cheer me on. Thank you very much. I confess to being somewhat embarrassed knowing that I will be seen competing in a race, as that is more something Gintoki would do. But knowing you are cheering for me is a tremendous motivation. I swear I shall not disappoint you. Other servants may have abandoned dignity and decency simply because it is summer. But as the Shadow Prefect, I shall see that all such flagrancy is duly punished. My sword that kept all of Kyoto safe is still completely untarnished. I really don't have the slightest idea what you're talking about, but it does sound like you have a different goal than the other racers, Raiko. That she does. Personally, I still want to take first place, but who knows how it'll turn out. Well, aside from the Buddha, of course. Anyway, it still looks like fun, so I decided to race with her. It's been a long time since I got to go on a journey, so I can't wait. Who knows, I might even find a new disciple of Sutra along the way. As they say, go west, young monk. Wait, come to think of it, which direction are we supposed to go in? Oh, hello. What's up? Wait, let me guess. You're here to find out what mystical wisdom powers our car, right? Sorry, but I'm not telling. I trust you, but there's still a non-zero chance the information can make its way to the other teams if I did. This race may be all fun and games, but it's more fun if we do our best to win, right? You seem more fired up than usual. Even she needs a chance to let off some steam now and again. I trust you can understand that. So this kind of dangerous. I'll be fine. I know I'll be competing with powerful kings and former berserkers, but Braun doesn't win a race. It's all about brains. Don't believe me? Well, you should, because I'm going to show you just what old people can do with all of our years of wisdom. <laughs> As you can see, she's still a bit upset about that little incident from the other day. Part of that falls on your shoulders, master. I'm sorry. That said, we are the ones who encourage her to compete. Though I hesitate to use this word given its connotations with Holmes, one might say you and we are accomplices in that regard. If you feel at all responsible for what happened, you can make it up for cheering all you want for this superb direct current support vehicle to win. Hold it. What did you just say about alternating current support vehicle I've worked so hard on? I can see where this is going. Anyway, we don't have a lot of time, Senpai. Let's go visit the other teams while we still can. It's me! Haha! <laughs> Let me guess, you came to tell me that the three ceremonial dishes I've always, I always have before setting out on a new campaign are ready, correct? That's the kind of dedication I like from my master. Still, while I imagine chestnuts and abilene remain a rare enough treat in this day and age, isn't kombu absurdly common now? Perhaps you should forego the kombu and try something more modern. Maybe truffles? After all, given that I handily won a totally real and not imaginary popularity poll, gaining a swimsuit is cause for an all-out celebrate. Huh? Kiata's Nobu resources already ran out during the Gouda Gouda event this year? You're kidding! Well then, that's all the more reason I must win. First I shall take the prize money, then I shall perform a live concert that'll burn down the house. I, uh, I see. A live concert, huh? That's, oh, uh, what's this about lives? Because of course I've been sensing the birth of too many new wicked lives myself. Both the new and scantily clad Artoria face and her partner, the Emperor who thinks she can escape my sword by turning into a caster. There could be no evil so... perfidious? 
as their team in this or any other race. They may be a rider and caster now, but they are still sabers at heart, and so I will cut them down. No, I must cut them down. On top of that, I've sent the birth of a whole new saber. I'm going to make sure uh, we see someone knocked out of this race as the starting gun goes off. Of course, it also looks like I'll get to eat all sorts of yummy things if I win, so I'll be doing my best to win the race as well. Indeed, I have high hopes for you, seeing how I am trusting you to handle all driving-related matters. After all, I'm a general from the Sengoku period. The only mount I know how to steer is my horse. Oni Ashigi? And apparently this race's horse quota had already been filled. Oh well, it can't be helped. So, you wish to be granted an audience with the Pharaoh before she sets out on her journey. Good. Such is only proper for one sworn to a contract with her. Why did a Majita talk? You, you don't have to make that big of a deal out of it, it's just me. Oh, so it was you under there, Nidacris. But why were you under there? Well, earlier while I was getting changed into my swimsuit, I got to think about how inadvertently rude I was to Pharaoh Ozymandias, and how far I still have to go as a Pharaoh myself. And then I really, really, really wanted to just hide my face and one thing led to another and... I mean, I never mind it, uh, never mind it all. Surely you see how Majid must be a fast... How Majid must be a fast racer thanks to his sleek form, right? Yes, that is what you need to know. Ahem. <clears throat> and anyway, I'm great. I gratefully accept your presence as an audience. I presume you have prepared a tribute? Does wishing you good luck count? Yes, it does. Gold or jewels would be unnecessary burdens on this journey, journey anyway. I'm glad you understand what is truly valuable. I gratefully accept your tribute, my ally. Sigh. I must say, it's a little surprising to see you assisting Nidacris. See you assisting Nidacris. I am just as surprised as you are. I can hardly believe I was so taken with the idea of a charm to protect me from death that I entered a race which is almost certain to result in death. <coughs> All I can do now is hope that victory will allow me to be free of death forevermore. It does seem kind of ironic that being so scared of death led to you... Skirting it. God set. Godspeed. I am told that by participating in this race, we will be helping to dispel a singularity. If I imagine that I am offering this service to a compassionate king, perhaps that will serve as its own reason for my participation. Indeed, I hope that by doing so I can be of some service to you as well. Oh my god, has the race begun yet? That's all of the teams! To be honest, I have no idea which one will end up winning. All I can say for certain is that it looks like it's going to be a very intense race. Oh, Senpai, look, isn't that... Okay, everyone's here, right? Great! Why are you wearing a swimsuit? Well, of course I'm going to wear a swimsuit. I can't host a race in my stuffy regular clothes, can I? Your regular clothes are actually more revealing than your swimsuit. Besides, I always wanted to try wearing a modern day swimsuit. And since I was changing my outfit anyway, I thought I'd take the opportunity to get all sorts of other new things too. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Our usual outfit's basically a swimsuit anyway. What's that now? Word of advice. Be careful what you think around a goddess. In fact, this works out well. Since I was already taking my new form out for a test drive... I think now's as good a time as any for a little warm-up. You two are going to have your work cut out for you in this event anyway, so I may as well give you a little taste of what's in store. Hey, here I come, Vane. Time to see what this new form can do. Well, surprising no one, she isn't going to take no for an answer. Please try not to get hurt, Master. That's okay, that's what Hassan's here for. Oh my god. It's been two hours of recording this shit, and I'm just now getting to a fight. Fuck everything about this event. I haven't even started in the grind yet. Oh, my throat. There's so many voices. 
Well, it's a good thing I saved all my apples for this. Dude, this battle theme is kick ass. All right, let's give this a shot. Oh my god. Why is there a pig next to you? All right. Uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and blow a noble, noble a uh, command spell, just to see what Nito's attack does. Is the charisma? Yes, it is. And provided by the off chance that Nidacris doesn't kill you. Azrael will. So it's just a giant water trap? Interesting. Well, unfortunately, you, uh... <laughs> you drew the short end of the straw. You lived against the water. Now you die. Never ask for whom the bell tolls, for it tolls for thee. At least I don't have to go too far to get my, uh... I guess it's a temporary Ishtar for now. I think. Maybe she's permanent? I don't actually know. That was random. It was dope, but it was random. <laughs> 